We're studying mosquito populations to understand how they grow and change with seasons and to understand how they impact infectious diseases that they spread both to humans and to animals. In particular for this project we're studying West Nile virus disease which is spread by mosquitoes. The primary host is actually bird species um, but when mosquitoes bite a bird and then bite a human they spread the virus to the humans and humans can become quite sick with it. The potential benefits of predicting mosquito populations is that we will be able to warn public health departments ahead of time when there's going to be a high mosquito year and they will have a chance to respond in some way. For example, spraying for mosquitoes or warning residents that mosquitoes are going to be a problem that year. That will be able to reduce transmission of diseases. We did a study of mosquito population dynamics with the goal of predicting mosquito populations in the future using precipitation, temperature, and water gauges. We thought that it would be very important to include standing water and flooding uh, in the system, and it has shown to be more effective in accurately predicting mosquito populations. Public health is an important aspect of national security, so these diseases that mosquitoes spread are impacting the health of the population and of the warfighters and other people who are of interest in United States security. Secondly, we never know when a disease might be introduced to the United States or to some other area, so understanding how to predict that ahead of time will be critical to response.